It's costly. Remember something else. Every time that we're in the factory, every time that we're here in pre-industry, every time you're at the barn, every time you're moving every thousand things, you're getting a certain percentage of damage. Every beautiful leaf, I was looking at the leaf before and one of you guys asked me, who you asked me, do I break, do, you know, when you're, when you're stretching out a tobacco and you're looking at it for color, you're looking at it for um, shine and for uh, elasticity. Every time you're touching tobacco, you're breaking leaf. Every time you're moving one pillone to another pillone, you're breaking leaf. Every time you have a cigars in the big wooden uh, boxes that you're going to see the movement, you're breaking cigars. All of those are driving up your costs and creating inefficiencies. So all of these terms are very expensive. You don't say a little subtle thing that you don't realize how expensive it is each time you're breaking a, breaking a bunch. So do you try to limit the no. amount of that you, you do, can. or do you have no, to no, do you that? You just have to be careful. You can't limit it. Because if you take that attitude, then you're not going to be doing what the tobacco needs. Got it. You have no choice. This is not a business for lazy people. Hey, well, that's the same thing that we about. always struggle. It's a good question. We have a lot of accounts and CFOs, and we always say, it, you can't let your CFOs run the company. Because oh, yeah. that's exactly what they'll do. They'll say, hey, look at that! You did the break three times. You know how expensive that is? There's damaged leaves there and extra labor. Do, do it twice. Yeah, sure. And then your cigars don't fucking burn because you get a big black line at the end. 